Ooh. All right, it's time to get ready for bed. It is almost midnight, so let's do this fast. First step in my routine is I double cleanse. I always start out with an oil cleanser. This is by DHC, their deep cleansing oil. And I first distribute a pump onto my dry hands, you know, my dry palms, and then I'll just kind of rub it together, warm it up in my hands. And then I start wiping this all over my dry face. And this is the first step to my double cleansing routine. So this is how I remove all my makeup. And then once all my makeup is removed, I go in with an actual cleanser on my bare face to make sure it actually deep cleans into the pores. So I have found over the years that an oil cleanser removes my makeup far faster and better than a makeup remover wipe will ever do. I know it sounds gross, but you just massage this into your dry skin and that's what will break up all the makeup and dirt, massaging the oil onto your dry skin. And I do this for about 45 seconds to a minute, just really massaging and I can feel the makeup starting to melt and kind of smear all over my face. I always go over my ears and then under my jaw, my neck, and then after about a minute, I guess, of that, then I usually get about a half a pump more. Fresh, fresh pump, warm it up, and then that's what I use on my eye makeup if I'm wearing any eye makeup. So first I go down and that kind of breaks up the mascara. I really am trying to be more gentle on my eye area because I am so rough with my eyes. They're just always itchy. I have bad allergies and I just, I need to be more gentle with my eye area. After about a minute, take warm water and then I'll splash my face. But I take lukewarm water. You don't want too hot, you don't want too cold, you don't want to shock your system. So I take lukewarm water, splash my face about five times. And that alone, I feel like got off all my makeup. But now I go in with a washcloth. I'm gonna wet it and get it warm. And then very gently, I go over my eyes and then I'm very gentle. So circular motions, I really try to not apply that much pressure. I go all over my face. And this ensures that I get all my makeup off before I go in with my cleanser. And see, you can see it's definitely, like especially my ears and jaw area, there's always makeup left over there. And I'm using a bamboo washcloth. I recently made the switch from microfiber washcloths. I used to use microfiber washcloths and now I use bamboo. The bamboo is a little better for the environment and I find that it's a little more gentle on my skin. So I just, I literally just got them from Amazon. It's like a package of five, but it's all 100% organic bamboo, free of chemicals and dyes. I don't think it's as harsh as microfiber. Microfiber is still pretty good but this is even softer. So this, you know, I really take my time to just kind of wipe the face, make sure all the makeup is removed before I go in with my cleanser so that my cleanser can fully do its job. And you know, using this washcloth, to me, this is a form of physical exfoliation because I'm, I am, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can, but I am, you know, rubbing my skin and this is a little abrasive, the washcloth. So it is a natural gentle exfoliation physical fully exfoliation. Okay, so now that all my makeup is removed, I go in with my cleanser and my face is still damp, so I'm just gonna work with that. I'm using the Image or Medic Cleanser. I'm almost out, so I need to order some more. I just got this from my esthetician. I've seen that um, you can get it on Amazon, but I don't know if I trust Amazon skincare. So I'm, I am lathering it up a little more and I just love the way this cleanser smells. And I feel like it really gets all that dirt and makeup and slime off. This is just my PM cleanser. I use a more gentle one on the AM, but then I just go over and circular motions, getting that on. Once I think I have it all distributed, then I take my Foreo and I wet it. And you know, you can also go in, sometimes I'll apply the cleanser directly on here, but then I go over in circular motions. And I like how this massages my skin. 
It helps get the blood flow. It's like a gentle massage. I kind of go all over. I don't do it as long as they say. I think you're supposed to do like 20 seconds on the forehead and then move down to the nose. Oh, that tickles. Ooh. And then 10, and then 10 seconds on each cheek. But I like that this is a lot more gentle than the Clarisonic. I used to use the Clarisonic for a good eight years. And I found that it was just much too abrasive for my skin. I was being way too rough with it. Those bristles on the brush head were way too strong. And I was just ruining my skin barrier. I know they have like sensitive brush heads, but I just think overall Clarisonics are a little too rough for my skin. So this is better for more sensitive skin. Plus it's like a nice little massage. And there's there's two sides. I typically just use this side to really rub in and push in my facial cleanser, but it also helps. It also helps your facial cleanser penetrate deeper and open up those pores so that the following products will go in deeper. And then you can use this side. I never do it, but you can use this side after you apply your serums and moisturizer, wiggle it in like this and it pushes it in even deeper apparently, but I don't use that side. So now I'm going to wash off my cleanser Then I gently pat my face. And then now I'm going to apply a little micellar water just to make sure all the makeup is off because I think that's the most important step for me personally is making sure there's no makeup on my skin because if there's makeup on your skin, then that's going to break me out. All right. So I just, I got this on Amazon. I just used the lint free silky gauze wipes, big old pack. And I find that these are very gentle. I think they're like better than the, for the environment. They're not as wasteful as cotton rounds, but I also like that these are so thin and you know, you could really get fancy and like cut the four squares. I just go like that because I don't need all of it. And I fold it in half. I feel like it uses, um, I feel like I'm actually getting all the product. It's not absorbing product like a cotton round is. And I try to work fast within a minute after washing my face. I try to apply my toner because the longer you go and if you let your face dry, then you experience water loss, which can lead to dehydration. So, you know, if your skin's getting tight, you need to really start misting it or apply your toner and then your serum and your moisturizer and just work fast because that can lead to dehydration. But I'm using the Bioderma Micellar Water for sensitive skin, fragrance free. I'm almost out. I like this. I feel like this is a very gentle micellar water um, and I use this as my toner basically just to make sure all my makeup is removed because like I said that is just the most important step for me. You can see there's a little bit left, a little bit left. So like I said I think uh, removing all your makeup is the most important part of take it of washing your face why because that brings me back to the makeup remover wipes you're never fully going to remove your makeup with the makeup remover wipe and what you're doing is you're just smearing around all your foundation your makeup and all the stuff that got under your skin throughout the day such as dirt sweat pollution so you know when you go outside whatever's in the air there's pollution and particles in the air and so that gets trapped in your face it gets trapped in your pores you can't see it but that's another reason why it's so important to wash your face every night before you go to bed even if you don't think you like sweat or did much if you went outside you got pollution in your pores and that can age you over time so it's good to really clean out your pores and clean out the dirt so a makeup remover wipe you're not actually washing that out and i'm spending a lot of time doing this so i can talk to you before i move on to my serum because that's a whole other topic <laughs> but a makeup remover wipe is just smearing around all your makeup and all the dirt and then think about it you just put a moisturizer on top of that that's probably why you're breaking out if any of you are wondering why you break out and you use makeup remover wipes when i was in my teens i just used makeup remover wipes i found that it left my face fairly red patchy and it irritated my skin because there's preservatives in the makeup remover wipes which is how they are able to stay wet in the package there's preservatives there's fragrance and fragrance over time will irritate you and cause inflammation which causes hyperpigmentation and can age you the true art of cleansing your face and washing your face is using water to get in your pores with a cleanser and washing out the dirt so if you're just using a makeup remover wipe and then going in with products it's really going to irritate your skin and break you out if you do go in with a makeup remover wipe and then a cleanser so be it but the the makeup remover wipes are going to have irritating ingredients and if you're starting off with that with 
was set, that product was such irritating ingredients, all your following products are just going to be overcompensating for the irritation that those wipes cause. I highly recommend double cleansing. My skin has never been better in my life since double cleansing. And I know a lot of people are grossed out by an oil, but this has emulsifiers in it. This isn't just a pure oil. So it emulsifies when I have finally swashed my face with water. It emulsifies, it, which means it breaks down the oil, breaks down the dirt, and it washes off so that following products will penetrate into my skin. Even if you have the oiliest of all oil skins, which I did in my teenage years when I was using very irritating drying products, believe it or not, your skin actually needs an oil. Sometimes it overcompensates and produces more oil when it actually is desperately in need for oil. So by using an oil cleanser, it can kind of combat that oiliness and actually even out your pH levels and benefit your skin and actually help it um, just even it out so it's not producing too much oil or getting dry. So anyway, it's highly recommend double cleanser. That should be a whole other video. But now I move on to my serum. Now that my face is still damp, you know, I just applied my micellar water for like 10 minutes. Now I move on to my serum. There's two serums that I alternate on depending on um, how my skin is. And they are the TNS Essential Serum by Skin Medica or the, um, my retinol. This is by Renee Rillo, her advanced resurfacing serum. I pretty much use the retinol one night and then two nights of the TNS and then retinol and then I repeat that pattern. So one night of retinol and then the next two nights TNS. This is just an intense little serum. I got this as a Christmas gift. So you rub the two together. One side's vitamin C, the other side is the TNS growth factors. It's a ridiculously priced serum, <gasps> but I love it. I immediately feel it working and um, whatever's left, I press under my eyes. You'll notice I don't have a specific eye cream. They're technically are just glorified moisturizers. Your eye definitely needs moisturizer, but I just, use a little of that TNS. I mean, this is such an expensive serum. I just use that. Um, but like in the AM, I do have a eye cream I use in the AM because I feel like my vitamin C serum is a little too strong for my eye area. So whatever's left, I'll just rub on my neck and then pat it in. It's good to remember your neck, by the way. You know, if you have any extra products, always bring it down to your neck and your hands. But um, I do feel this instantly firming and tightening my skin. So I don't know over time like how, how successful it is, but I feel like Skin Medica is just a really good anti-aging line. This smells terrible, it smells like garbage, but that's the growth factor in it. So then I go in with my moisturizer. I just use a very simple moisturizer since um, my retinol and or that TNS growth serum have have such concentrated ingredients and active ingredients. I don't like to irritate my skin anymore. So this is just the Elta MD PM moisturizer. I think it has ceramides in it, which is great for anti-aging and really locking in moisturizer. It's really important that I use a moisturizer in my step because um, then I go in with an oil and a moisturizer is different than an oil because an oil doesn't actually moisturize. The oil's gonna lock in everything previously that I applied and prevent evaporation and stuff, but a mo an oil doesn't actually moisturize. It's important to actually get an ingredient or get a product with like ceramides or hyaluronic acid in it that's actually gonna moisturize. So this is PM Therapy. This was like 35 bucks, so I feel like it's not too pricey. It's on the thicker side. It has niacinamide, which I like. That's great if you have acne prone skin, which by the way, I'm 30. I have acne prone skin. I should have told you that. And I have very reactive skin, so it can handle pretty much anything, but it's going to react and I can build up a tolerance. This doesn't have any active ingredients. It doesn't have any fragrance. I'm really particular with that in my skincare because fragrance is going to irritate my skin and just cause hyperpigmentation. So now that I have my moisturizer, then I apply my oil. I love rose hip seed oil by The Ordinary. I'm just about out of this, so I need to buy more. But it's a good thick oil, great for acne prone skin, and it has high in oleic acid, which helps combat your oil production and just helps balance out your skin. So I press this into my skin, especially under my eye area. I love applying oils under my eye area. I know oils sound gross, but any skin type can benefit from an oil. You don't want 
And our rose hip seed oil is on the thicker side, so you might like squalene, that's a universal oil. And The Ordinary has like seven different oils, so this is just pure oil, which is good. It's not like an oil cocktail or it doesn't have any added fragrance or anything in it. I just find that it locks in all my products while I sleep because, you know, you rub around your face on your pillowcase all night or whatever, unless you're perfectly laying there, which is good for you, but like I roll around, so it's just going to prevent products from wearing away faster than they need to be. So. You know, they say the first like <clears throat> two, three layers rub off while you sleep. So an oil is just going to help seal everything in for the time being. And you press it in because you don't want to rub. Products can start pilling. And now that I have my oil on, then I get my facial roller. So you're going to think I'm silly, but I have two different ones that I use. I have the jade roller. Well, this is the the rose quartz and I just put this in the I pop this in the freezer for about 30 minutes before I film this and then I have this which looks like Aunt Barbara's forbidden toy that you're not supposed to discover but I got this on Amazon it is a dupe for like Madonna Madonna has some facial um like beauty facial roller that was $150 on Nordstrom and I found this on Amazon first I go in with the jade roller and the reason I have this separate one is um and the reason this is so <laughs> goofy looking but this fits perfectly along your jawline and i use this for my jaw pain because so i have a lot of jaw i have a lot of tension i keep in my jaw <sighs> for whatever reason having three kids under six years old is just causing me a lot of stress in my jaw so i notice i like clench my teeth a lot more just keep my anger right there when i'm trying not to yell at them so this helps roll it out and then i have a cbd oil that i put on it i'll get to that in a minute but anyways i start with the jade roller you always roll away from your face i don't go back and forth i just do one roll up you start from the center of your face and you roll up and this is supposed to be good for lymphatic drainage you're supposed to do I think you can do it as long as you want. I do it till you don't feel the cold anymore. And you know, this stays pretty cold on its own if you don't pop it in the freezer. I could get maybe like five to 10 minutes and you always roll up. But this is more soothing for me. You know, people wonder like, does it really have any benefits? I just find it so relaxing, like the cold. I just look forward to this in my routine. It especially feels good right here. But it's supposed to help with lymphatic drainage. So if you experience a lot of puffiness, which we tend to retain a lot of water in our cheeks, you know, if you eat a lot of salty food or crying, you know, some people just retain water more. I guess it depends on your diet. So really rolling this out and like, it's like a massage, you know, you, you could definitely do it with your fingers, but I think it's part of the experience. This being cold, it can just help with lymphatic drainage. And you know, some people say like the jade and then the rose quartz was like five different stones, depending on your skincare needs. One's good for acne, one's good. I think this is good for sensitive skin and rosacea, but they say like the stones have healing properties in them. And I don't really know much about that, but they say like your skin absorbs it. And like I said, I don't know much about that, but I just know that I thoroughly enjoy this. And I just feel like I do notice a difference I try to drink a glass of water, by the way, after I do this, just to really help that lymphatic drainage. And I also heard you can go up and then go down along the jawline, but I'm going to, I do that with this one and that helps, I guess, with your lymph nodes and lymphatic drainage. But it also, you know, by massaging, it gets the blood flowing. And once the blood is flowing, that helps you have a glow because it's bringing all that blood to your face. So this stopped being cold. So that's when I go in with this. So when I do this, this, like I said, this is for my jaw. So I got the CBD oil I'm trying out. I got it during the Sephora sale. This is just full spectrum cannabis complex 1%. I don't apply this all over my face, but I started because I like to watch a lot of go to bed with me celebrity routines and someone did this. They said it helps with their, their jaw pain. I was like, oh, I have this oil I don't use. So I mainly concentrated it right here along my jaw. I need to really try to press that. Um, and then whatever's left, I'll like kind of rub there. Then I take trusty old tool and same thing. Start from the center of my face and then just roll up. I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes and it just really helps. But I, you know, believe it or not, within 20 minutes, I do notice like, oh, so relaxed. I don't know if it's in my head, but I do notice 
a difference when I play that on my jaw. Usually, like, I close my eyes, I just kind of do this. <sighs> and I don't try to rub it anywhere else because I don't really want that oil to rub on my face because I'm just paranoid it's going to break me out. But, you know, you can go up towards the ear and then bring it down towards the neck. I guess that's great uh, for lymphatic drainage. So after that, then I brush my teeth and then I'll usually, I got this from Sephora. It's supposed to be a knockoff of like the Nurse Jamie one, which is way too expensive, but I just massage my lips. because it's been really dry during the winter time. This is literally $7. And this massage is just gonna naturally plump in your lips and it's gonna bring blood flow to your lips. And it's a great little trick for helping your lips look plump. And I find that this is a little nicer than a toothbrush, you know? You're not getting toothpaste all over your crusty lips. So after massaging, and this is really great for the AM, by the way, before a big day, if you want your lips looking plump, get you a lip massager. And then I always finish with my beauty counter. Oh, it's almost gone. But I just love how juicy, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. This is such a juicy lip gloss. I'm plumping and I like that it's all natural because like you lick your lips I feel like you absorb whatever you put on your lips so especially at um oh, I need to massage back my neck especially at nighttime I have a lot of tension in my neck by the way especially at nighttime you know you want something that's good for your body if you absorb so this has um this has real vanilla extract in it so it tastes like vanilla then I take out my contacts and sometimes sometimes just sometimes after I do um the jade roller because I feel like sometimes this takes off some of the oil. Sometimes I will go in in addition with this oil. This is the Juno Essential Face Facial Oil by Sunday Riley. And honestly, I'm trying to use it up because I have so many oils. So I'm just trying to use it up. Once I finish this up, I'm not going to rebuy it. But it is a good thick little oil. So I feel like, you know, after rolling my face, if some of the product came off, you know, I'm just re reapply in my supply before the night time so that my products are not rubbing away while I'm sleeping, you know? And then whatever's left, I put on Brian's face. <laughs> he definitely gets facials sometimes while he's sleeping, so he doesn't know it. But that man's not gonna do anything on his own and it scares me, his skin is so dry. I think he finally got him to start applying sunscreen in the AM, so that's an improvement. All right, that completes my PM skincare routine. Like every two to three weeks, I'll do a mask. I have an AHA, BHA, I have the one by The Ordinary. So I like doing that one, that's really good for exfoliating. And I have the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pad, so I'll do that like every three weeks as well. Yeah. But other than that, this is my nightly skincare routine. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or anything you would like me to go more in depth on, like the double cleansing. I could go more in depth on that if you want a video on that and why that's better than makeup remover wipes. Girls, you've gotta let those makeup remover wipes go. I promise you they're either not faster, they're really bad for your skin. So if you have breakouts that you just can't pinpoint, 99.999% of their makeup remover wipes. And if you don't use makeup remover wipes and you can't pinpoint it, well maybe you're using too harsh of a cleanser or maybe you're using too harsh of ingredients, but I don't know, that's a whole other topic. So I hope you guys go take your makeup off now. I hope this inspired you to go do your nighttime routine. Alrighty, well good night, time to go to sleep.